The unit I'm going to assemble now is a 625 corner unit. This is probably one of the more complicated units that you would likely to assemble in your kitchen. It is always advisable to assemble the unit on a piece of cardboard. This protects the side panel and the front edge of the unit when you're moving it around. Please read the assembly guide because there is a lot of information on here that will be helpful when assembling your unit. On the front of the assembly guide, it tells you what panels you have in the box, what hardware is required, and the minimum tools required to get the job done. You lay your end panels out like this. This enables you to have a right-hand end panel and also a left-hand end panel. These metal dowels are really good because there is a red sleeve around them that enables you to hold them while you're screwing them down, making sure that you keep them upright. The actual cam works by turning it like that and it, and it pulls it together, making a very strong joint. You screw the metal dowels into your 5mm holes. And taking your wooden dowels, you tap these in like this until the sound changes. That's deep enough. Then you take your wall hanging brackets. You have uh, one for the left hand end panel and one for the right hand end panel. And you screw those brackets to your panels using the pre-marked holes that are in your end panel. You next take your large back panel which is 16 mil thick and you lay it out as it shows you in the assembly guide and you fit your last wall hanging bracket to the top of this panel again using 25 mil screws provided And again, using your metal dowels and your wooden dowels, you fix them into your panel. Six metal dowels and four wooden dowels. Now go on to step two, which is joining the top and bottom panels together. Two metal dowels in here and two wooden dowels in there. Like so. And then what you do is you find your small top and small base panel and you fix them in like that. <laughs> you fix them in like this. Putting your metal cams in. The cams themselves have an arrow telling you which way they should be put in. This arrow should always point to the outside or raw chipboard edge of your panel. Do the same to the other panel. The next job is to assemble your shelves. And in your shelf you have the four holes. Knock them together and tighten the cams up. Cams push them into the corresponding holes. Completed that one. At this stage, you should have a top and a bottom panel. The top panel is white on one side and coffee bean on the inside, and so is the base panel. So that's those two. You should also have a right and a left hand side panel and a large, thick back panel. Two shelves, both with coffee bean prints on both sides. The next bit on the assembly guide is to fit the top and bottom panels. You slot it in there like this. You've fitted the top and bottom panel, you now tighten the cams up to hold those in position. You then slide your thin back panel in with the coffee bean print on the inside, with the cutouts corresponding with your hanging brackets. Right in like that. And then you take your end panel, fix that one on, tighten the cams up, and turn the unit onto its back like so. 
then fit your last end panel. Like so. Tighten the cams up. There should be a 10 mil gap between the back edge of your side panel and your thick back panel. You have two of these wall hanging brackets in your box. When you fix these to the wall, they actually go on the hangers here, like this, and that's what holds your unit to the wall. There are two types of adjustment on this wall fitting. The top screw pulls the unit in or out, and the bottom screw moves it up or down. And so you don't lose your shelves, put the shelves in the bottom of the unit along with any extra fittings. Once you have the unit on the wall, you then position the shelves at the height you require and then fit the doors and the handles.